Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the 101 Films Black Label release of The Boys Next Door. Hey everyone, great to see you back here on the channel. My name is Rob, this is The Movie Vault. We're gonna talk about movies here on the channel. As I quickly mentioned there, we're looking at the 101 Films Black Label release of The Boys Next Door. This is a cool mid 1980s movie starring Charlie Sheen and Maxwell Caulfield here. Teens on a rampage for no reason whatsoever is how I would kind of describe this one. It actually kind of feels like a 1980s version of Natural Born Killers. Uh, it's of the times. Um, I mean, it even it says it here on the back, guys, with the uh, the 15s rating here. Strong violence, sex references, sex discrimination, and very strong language. If you're easily offended by any of that, then maybe this one is not for you. Let's quickly look at the artwork here, guys. So, as always with the 101 Films Black Label, you get that nice slip cover here with this artwork. Then, once we open it up, the Amore case, you are going to get different or alternative artwork there. Really, really cool. This art inside is representative again of that alternative sleeve art. You of course get your nice booklet here, probably about 30 odd pages, 20, 30 pages worth of writings and stuff like that on the film. And don't forget if you miss out on the limited edition black label, you're gonna lose the slip and the booklet for the standard release of this one. Okay, let's talk technical on The Boys Next Door. 1985 original release date, 91 minutes long. The feature is gonna run. LPCM, two channel stereo on this one. It's listed as a 1.9 to one aspect ratio, but it's 185 to one. I don't know if that's an error on the back of this release. Uh, full screen picture on your TV. And I will mention this as a region B Blu-ray release. Let's talk audio for a second. As I mentioned, LPCM, two channel stereo, representative of the audio available at the time, uh, does the job. I can't say anything more or less about the audio mix on this one, guys. It was what it was, um, does the job, no issues from me whatsoever. Let's talk quickly about the picture quality on the boys next door from 101 Films, guys. A really nice transfer, I was really surprised by this one. Uh, has the film grain, the film look to it, uh, really nice. And for a 36 year old movie, looks pretty decent in my book on this Blu-ray release here. So thumbs up from me on the picture quality of this one. So bonus content on the boys next door, guys. There is a whopping 100 minutes of bonus content on this one. Uh, longer than the actual movie itself, which is always cool to see here. We have a couple of things here, so let me consult my list uh, so that I don't miss anything out. We have an audio commentary with the director and an actor of the movie. There is a Stephen Trower interview, which is 25 minutes long. Uh, actor interviews run 19 minutes long in there. There is an interview with the street band from the movie, about five minutes long. There is Cinemaniacs interview, which is about 21 minutes long. It looks like it's a TV show kind of a thing there. And there is another actor interview for 12 minutes long on this one. Uh, revisiting the locations, about 13 minutes long on The Boys Next Door. Alternative opening and extended scenes, three minutes long. And a theatrical trailer that runs two minutes long, all adding up to 100 minutes of bonus content. So overall thoughts on The Boys Next Door, as I mentioned guys, kind of feels like an 80s version of Natural Born Killers. Uh, I'm not too sure if any was made that comparison before, it was fairly kind of obvious to me. Um, but I've literally never heard of The Boys Next Door until 101 have put out this black label release here, which is really, really cool. As always, they do a nice job with the cover and the bucket and the slip and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, really interesting movie. If you like Natural Born Killers, I would recommend checking out this if you're into 80s movies. Check this one out, uh, really cool. A violent and disturbing crime thriller from director Penelope Spears. Uh, the Decline of the Western Civilization is another one she'd done as well. So yeah, would recommend picking this one up. Looks good with the rest of your 101 films black labels on the shelves there. So uh, link in the description if you wanna grab a copy of this one, guys. As always, jump in the comments, let me know, have you seen The Boys Next Door? What do you think? Maxwell Caulfield, Charlie Sheen, let me know. Are you gonna pick this one up? I'd love to hear from you guys on this one. If you liked the video, of course, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and YouTube membership accounts. The links are down in the description below. If you wanna see more content that's not featured here on the main channel, there is six plus hours of videos over on my Patreon. And these names on screen right here make those videos possible each and every week here on the Movie Vault. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Okay.